Well, in, in 1981, uh, a bunch of kids went to church camp, but uh, uh, Jubal had something to do with it. I'm not sure they were at camp, but he and Winford Dunn had these kids, uh, and I mean, we had a whole uh, slew of kids. They had a whole team, and uh, uh, they went to church camp and played and, and got excited about it, and, and uh, we heard from uh, Cincinnati Springdale Church started a national Nazarene softball tournament. Of course, they, they did it right too. They played ball, you know, as many as 70 or 80 teams. And uh, they would have, uh, they would have play ball all day Saturday. And Sunday was, all day was church. I mean, they would have a Sunday school full of probably five or 600 softball players and had special speakers come in. They came back on Sunday just excited and everything, you know, telling me about the tournament and said, you need to go back with us. So, so I went back up with them on Monday and we ended up winning the first Nazarene National Softball Tournament. Yeah. But we won 1981, we won in 1987, and we won five in a row from 1992 to 1996. Adam was running the league here in town and kind of in charge after I, I, I was in charge for most of those years. And, and then Adam kind of took, took it over Actually, he was still doing it after he had a uh, couple of surgeries. He was still doing it, uh, but uh, just just couldn't couldn't continue. And and they didn't have a league here, and we didn't have enough people to play. So so it just kind of fizzled out. Yeah, uh, I'm still going to the tournament every year. Uh, tremendous memories. Uh, you know, I've got a picture of Adam when he was three years old. And of course, the whole family, but. He was at the tournament and he, as soon as he was 15, was able to play. He played until he was 40, probably 41 or two. Uh, just recently, uh, we lost my son, Adam. He passed away from cancer, uh, but he had been in the church all his life and had really been active and, and never had sung, but was ready to start singing and he never recovered from the from the cancer, mm. but uh, uh, my wife uh, and and Adam, and with his cancer and his little five year old, I was helping with all of them. And once I retired, I got busy. <laughs> but my my body just deteriorated after that. I, I think I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we had, we've got the lot first, all of this lot. Okay. They bought 11 acres here. And the lady that lived over in the corner that owned this, and she ended up giving us we, no we made, most of it. We she? made one, one payment, we, or, or, you know, once a year, we, and we made the first payment. And when we made that, she turned it over and wrote paid in full. No, so man. we got 10 acres or 11 acres here for one, one pint, really. Well, we started in the gym, and we were in there several years. I'm not sure how long now. And then we built, raised money to build this sanctuary. The pastor, Mason, and uh, some of us met. I, can't, I can't think it was the board meeting or some kind of meeting we had. And we wanted to, and the pastor, of course, wanted that too, that we uh, raised the money to build a mission church before we built our sanctuary. And so we did that. We raised 10 thousand dollars for a mission church in Ecuador and even took a team there to build the church. Normally churches don't last for about 30 years and this one's been going a hundred years and and it's still ranking good. My parents said when they passed away to remember always stay in church and stay true to God because we will be back together again someday.